Hello, and welcome to another exciting demonstration of Exaction, the bridge between XAPI and Enterprise Systems. I'm your host, Art Workentine. Today we are going to look at how Exaction facilitates the integration of XAPI statements with a system that does not speak XAPI, credly acclaimed. Specifically, we are going to look at how Exaction can be used to create a digital badge in credly acclaimed. Credly Acclaim is a digital credentialing service providing digital badges that support the open badges specification. Credly also has a full featured REST API that we can call from Exaction. In this video, Exaction is going to be the bridge between XAPI statements and Credly Acclaim's REST APIs. For example, perhaps it takes two things to determine that a student has earned a new badge. Student completes training, student passes an exam. So over time, two XAPI statements are sent to Exaction, possibly from different systems or learning record stores. Exaction matches those statements to rules. When both are met, Exaction will make an outbound REST API call to credibly acclaim to add the new badge. So I've jumped into Exaction now and created a service for the Credly API. I am using the sandbox, as you can see in the endpoint, so that I'm not creating any real badges. Your organization ID actually becomes part of the endpoint. You can find out about that in the Credly documentation. They also give you an authorization token, which goes in the basic user ID field. You don't need a password according to the documentation, so I've left that blank. And I've pasted in JSON for the properties. When I call it, I will put in a badge template ID. We'll see that later in this video. The issue that they're looking for a universal sort date timestamp so I've added that as a token for the last timestamp to exaction for your use. Uh, issue two first name I've put in the actor name. The last name I'm leaving blank. XAPI doesn't really have a concept of first name and last name so I'm going to try that out and see if it works. And then I've got the actor mailbox as the recipient email. The last thing we have to do for our service is add an accept header. So I've done that with a value of application JSON. I found this in the Credly documentation that you need this header. So now I've jumped over and I've created a trigger um, that will hold our rules and our actions. These are the rules that I've created. One is the person has to complete a course, as I mentioned earlier in this presentation, and pass an exam. Um, they're pretty basic. I'm just looking for a particular verb, object, uh, an activity type. I want success and completion to be true in the first rule. And in the second rule, I want the student to pass an exam uh, with a score of 95 or greater. When both of those rules are met, we will have the trigger action fire. Looking at our outbound action, it is of course a REST API that we will be calling. The request type will be a post. When I chose the service that we just created, the endpoint was copied in for me as well as the properties JSON down at the bottom. I am expecting a 201 as the return value. I found that in the Credly documentation. And the only thing I've changed in the properties is I've put in the badge template ID for the badge that I want to award. Now for the fun part, we get to go ahead and send some statements over to Exaction to fulfill the two rules that we've set up. And they're sent. So within a few seconds of sending those statements, I've received a badge from the Credly API calls we made. I hope you have enjoyed this video showing how you can use Exaction to automate the awarding of digital badges in Credly. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or want help setting up your Exaction project, please feel free to contact us. We'd love to help.